it good to get Noah and some of those guys in there um, last week in that game? Yeah, it was good to see good to see Noah play a little bit. That was anytime you're fortunate to have that happen. Yeah, that was good to see him in there and operate. And look pretty smooth. What do you mean? I mean, have you sensed that the offense has sort of improved and that Adrian's improved from game one through game three? Let's hope so. <laughs> let's hope. Let's hope so. I think so, based on the numbers. Yeah. When when Scott talks about decisiveness, what does that what does that mean to you? Um, well, there's one or two times where he pulled the ball and maybe instead of bursting, tried to make a move and that sort of thing. So make a decision. Let's go. When you try to let the rip, ball rip, let it rip. Yeah. So I think that's what Coach Frost was talking about in terms of his mind and. Coach Frost discussion. When he's taken off running, yeah. based on based on what's available to him and what the field like, looks like when yeah. he's taken off, have you been happy with the results that he's got, or how, what do you how would you evaluate his running? Yeah, for for the most part, yeah, it's been pretty good. But it, there again, you'd like to see him be maybe at times a little more decisive, uh, maybe get a few more yards if he possibly can for us, but. Uh, yeah, but otherwise, I'm, I've been pretty pleased with it. I think Coach Frost has, too. That drive before halftime, just how big was that? Not only <laughs> for Martin, just for, for everybody's yeah. confidence. Yeah, that you was, guys did that no, that was halftime. really good, right? And he made some good throws and good protection. Guys ran good routes. So just all that sort of stuff that we rehearsed during the week it was good to have uh, come to life in a game. Yeah. Was there any dialogue with you to be like, you know what, maybe we, we better play? You're on the 13, so I mean, did you say, yeah. were you like, no, we got to go for the seven there? I mean, well, that, that's Coach Frost. Yeah, you know, he's, uh, we're, we're, we're getting after it. And I, I told Adrian um, before we took over in that series that, hey, be ready for, for two minutes. That's what Coach Frost wants to do. We're, we're, we're going to let it rip now. So, that yeah. throw that he made to, to kind of buy it in the end zone. Yeah. He let it go from maybe like the 35 to yeah. the far back, side. Back corner of the end zone. Uh, that's a pretty, that's a pretty good throw. Isn't yes, it? nice throw, man. It was good to see, and it was good to see, kind of, I come down with that thing. That was, we we thought it was a touchdown, but you know they called it incomplete and all that sort of business. But so that was good to see. That was fun. Yeah. Mechanically, where have you seen Adrian maybe improve in games this season from where he was at as a rookie? Uh, mechanically, you mean in terms of his stroke? Yeah. He's just so much smoother, so much more comfortable. The types of throws he's able to make are so much more efficient and fluent for him, you know. Um, he has more control of that. So that, that's the biggest improvement I've seen him make, yeah. He, he's not a guy that will ever make an excuse, but Scott's talked about how all three teams you've played so far have caught you by surprise with some of the looks they've given. Can you describe the challenge that presents for a quarterback to – prepare for one thing and then get in a game and at least some of the time be seeing something that he's not used to looking at. Don't make excuses for yourself and don't let anybody make excuses for you, right? Okay. There was no excuse for that first situation in terms of the game. You know, his eyes were wrong. So, yeah, don't don't let those things happen. Um, as we relate to Colorado, I think he kind of bounced back a little bit, got himself going. And then with this past game, uh, I thought – in my perspective evaluating him in terms of what we saw that was totally different than what we had expected early in the game. I thought Adrian handled that really well. And right when I had noticed it, when he got to the sidelines, we had a discussion. If, in fact, they come out with that sort of uh, structure again, this is, these are the things we need to do. We need to relax um, and not push the ball downfield unnecessarily if we don't see it. And uh, so, yeah, I, I thought he handled that surprise pretty well. So he's, he's capable of changing gears intellectually on the fly like that? It, 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 it was evident to me because we had uh, rehearsed a couple of things that we were certain we were going to have, and they just they weren't there. And, man, it was really good to see him um, not, not force it. You know. yeah. What makes Adrian so effective when he throws on the move? Um, a variety of things. One, I, I, I think he's uh, naturally, uh, not that there's any such thing as a natural athlete and all that sort of thing, but I think he has some natural abilities. And I think the work that we do constantly with regards to throwing the football on the move from a, as many angles as we possibly can, because some of those angles you can't plan for. But the more you do it from a general motor program standpoint, the more fluent he is during the game. So they don't catch him. He feels comfortable doing it, put it that way.